review time for Foxbat. So I have two, uh, I have the translucent one and I have a Ventus one, he's Pyrus as well. Um, I'll use both, well mainly the Ventus one because it's a little easier to see. But uh, exterior features, you can obviously see they have the horns, they have these little kind of different colored triangles, a uh, very, very prominent looking tail, and of course the little dots and everything that seem to be going on with this guy. So I'll probably use the Ventus one because he's a little bit easier to show up. I can, here we'll pop open the translucent one so you can see. There you go. See, he's a little bit harder to see. So we'll do the review with the Ventus one. So let's get all of his pieces out. He has this horn set. They both go together, so that's that part. He has these under wings. And he has these really, really skinny feet that don't want to open right now. There we go. They only go one at a time. Okay, so there's Fox Bad. Now very obvious thing about him, you can see he's got these little uh, triple dots, or diamonds rather, for his front eye feature, which is those little triangles who he has his accent, and let's see, on his back side, he's got this forked tail, which is really kind of cool looking, and this right there is that peg that attaches to Max's Helios. He's got the continuing dot pattern, which seems to be for the mechanical Bakugan that keeps showing up. Which you can, oh I forgot these under. He has two of these little underwing pieces. Um, and with that mechanical part, you can really see it in his wings. The detailing that shows up, all these little lines, uh, dots and everything. It kind of reminds me of a circuit board. But that's what the little inside looks like. Oh, by the way, he's 600 G's for all of you people that care about the G's. Um, yeah, there's really not too much about Fox Bat. I mean, he's kind of cool. I like that he has these multiple wings going on. It looks really, really awesome. And I wish his mouth moved, but it's fixed. See, it doesn't really move. His head only pivots. He's kind of a basic Bakugan. He's not complicated in any way, shape, or form. You can close him in any order that you want to. But there you go. There is Foxbat. And what G power is my translucent? He is 630. Okay, well, oh, and he might be part of the Baku Glow series. I don't know. I'm not certain yet, but I'll, uh, if I figure that out, I'll tell you later. So yeah, there's Foxbat. He's got really tiny feet, he's got these cool little horns, and he looks kind of evil if you ask my opinion. I mean, look at that face. Mm -hmm. It's like a vampire bat. So there you go. Fox bat. Any questions, just put it as a comment or something and I'll probably get back to you on it. Because there's not really too much to cover about fox bat other than he's cool looking, he's different, and my favorite feature is his wing parts because that looks pretty awesome.